We've got Jason and then we've got Mike. What do you guys think so far? Well, I'm just excited to see you, Chris. Well, it's, that's it's gonna be given. such a fun day. It's a yeah, it's a given, right? We are basically doing this for collared lizards. I thought it what was the monsters. Hea monsters. The Hea monsters. So he actually has, maybe we'll get a little tour back there later. He's breeding them in his shed in the back, but this is gonna be for the collards. So we're putting together this really cool swim pond for the homeowners slash that. And you'll notice throughout the property, he has a bunch of cactus and all kinds of fun things. So this whole theme is gonna be more of a desert, Western United States look in here. So I've never actually done that personally, so I think this is gonna be a fun spin. What is up everybody, Chris at Team Aquascape. I am down here, there's Trevor, and I also have Jason and Sean Duffney here. Now, these are the boys from Earthworks. We have worked together numerous times in the past. Super excited to be back down here in Northern Florida. We are going to be building a pond for Gila monsters? Yes. Yeah, kind of Gila way. monsters, or other kind of monster, whatever you guys got down here. We're out here at your new location. So you got about five to six acres, and this, how long has this property been here? Yeah, we've almost been here two years. And this is what you're running your operations out of now, Yeah, right? yeah, so we took everybody from the garden center and moved over here from the operational side. Gotcha. So we will be sure to give you a quick little tour of this later on in the video, but it looks like from the sounds of things, things are starting to roll off this morning. So we should probably get to work ourselves, don't you think? Yeah, we, we got do. a nice little hike to the job site. Well, let's go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's what the man up? right there. What so what do we got over here, Q? We got a nice decorative log piece, one of two. We have another one that I think we have plans on standing up. One whole side of it has been torn open, so it's this opened up log, super interesting. We got some drain pipe in preparation of groundwater issues. We have some massive piping for potential fish cave usage. And this is just one truck. The other truck slammed with all the product already. Nice. So. Well, it sounds like we're about ready to get rolling. Man, we're getting close. Cool. So we are here at the site of the advanced build a pond day that will be here that you guys are kind of hosting along with Aquascape here in a couple weeks. And the reason we're down here is we're doing the prep work. So we've got Jason and then we've got Mike. So we are basically doing this for collared lizards. I thought it was the monsters. Hea monsters. The Hea monsters. So he actually has, maybe we'll get a little tour back there later. He's breeding them in his shed in the back, but this is gonna be for the collards. So we're putting together this really cool swim pond for the homeowners slash that. And you'll notice throughout the property, he has a bunch of cactus and all kinds of fun things. So this whole theme is gonna be more of a desert Western United States look in here. We already have this somewhat prep, but you know, we'll come in here and start shooting elevation shortly. Now, one cool thing that I think all of our eyes lit up with during the conversation with the homeowner was creative freedom. Yep. Was said, so that's awesome. There are a few things that is already starting to turn in all of our heads here. So hopefully those turn into reality for the homeowner. So guys, Mike, like you said, everything was kind of cleared off. So it's actually, this is excellent for the viewers to see kind of the space that we're working and so why don't you guys explain just rough overview of what the design entails. I'm gonna start up against the house right here. We have somewhat of a CAD drawing put together for the basic principle of design here. We're gonna have pavers coming off four feet. To my right, this is where the intake bay is gonna happen. We were talking about earlier already changing our design with our creative freedom here and adding some more square footage. Somewhere in this area over here? Yeah, just more square footage for patio. They have an outdoor shower there and just enough for a little table and chairs. We're gonna be adding some nice cut-ins for the pond to accept some of this desert theme landscape and Jason he stand out there this is where the edge of the pond we're thinking once again just rough ideas right now and waterfalls coming in behind them okay so it's roughly a 20 by 25 foot ish some, pond somewhere in there 20 25 foot pond shoulder depth you know four or five foot deep why don't we just talk real quick on how we're gonna filter this thing I would assume on a pond this size that you're gonna be doing constructed wetland as opposed to biofall 
falls or anything like that. So you want to go ahead and speak to that? Correct. Yeah, you'll see we're not going to have any spillways by all falls on this project. It's going to be a wetland filter. I think we have two centipedes and a snorkel vault and it's going to be set up over on this side. We're going to do something roughly about eight inches, 12 inches higher than the pond just so we have this more natural flow coming in here because Chris and Mike are going to mac it out with mega waterfalls over here. So mm -hmm. what we'll end up doing probably is we're going to have roughly around 18,000 gallons per hour flowing through the falls. Yep. Separate gallons per hour for jets and bog. Yep. So a nice upper pooling area to start off the waterfalls and also maybe some room for aquatic plants and that kind of stuff to soften everything up. But no, I like what you said. So we've got, like Jason was saying, and, and I've talked to it with Ed, we've got about 18,000 gallon per hour inline pump that'll power the main falls. And then we have another 12,000 gallon per hour pump that's adjustable speed that we can use for the jet as well as split it up for the wetland filter. I love it. Clean slate, freaking sun is shining. I mean, and massive, I get to work. Massive oak trees around us, citrus. That's all Spanish moss and stuff. Hanging from the trees, we got an orange tree over there. We are not in Chicagoland anymore, oh, thank God. Baby. Florida baby, good, all right. <laughs> As you can see, excavation has already begun. We've got Mike up here on the machine, digging out the area where our intake bay is going to go. It's a little deep right now, but we're gonna to go to a two foot depth along the entirety of the footprint of the pond so that we can really get a lot of water volume based on the space, as well as make room for a lot of those big massive boulders that we have staged back over there. We've already ran into what looks like an old utility, which is a very common thing, fortunately for us. You can see the guys pulling the pipe out of the ground. It didn't mean anything. Kind of hard to see with the sun where it's at, but do you see Mike's already working on getting a lot of this dirt out of here? We're gonna generate an enormous amount of dirt for this project based on the size that it's a wreck pond. Things are happening out here. You can see we've got Jason over there, phone handling business, we've got Mike on the machine, and then we're just gonna keep rolling over here. So let's go. So we inevitably ran into exactly what we thought we were going to encounter, and that is groundwater, right? So currently, this is at the three foot water depth in through here. So we had anticipated this as being a challenge. It's actually, it's, it's really good that we found it now during the dry season, so we know what's to be expected. And I'm also feeling pretty good that it wasn't in the top 12 inches, and we were able to get down to three foot to see that groundwater. So inevitably, we are going to have to do an under drain system to to prevent any hydrostatic pressure from compromising the integrity of this water feature. So I can't wait to show you that later on in the video as to how we're going to remediate and prevent any damage from happening because of groundwater being underneath the liner. We still have Mike doing a fantastic job hogging out the rest of this soil. We're gonna get down to that three foot depth and get a majority of the pond excavated today. We'll work on putting in our serpentine under drain system that will go underneath this pond. We'll probably have a few fingers and it'll look like a little web of drain tile underneath there of trenching, but that's all uh, infrastructure that will go in underneath the liner. We're trying to achieve about a four and a half foot, to five foot depth on this water feature, and we will eventually get to that, even if it's down in this area underneath here. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because the pond definitely needs to maintain its shape. And like you've seen in our other videos, to go down that deep in such a hurry, it's going to provide some design challenges when installing the rock in the bottom of the pond. So we may end up using maybe some engineered brick that will help. It'll also carry over maybe the theme from this brick patio walkway area that leads the seating area over on that corner. So it's a fluid thing, very organic. Uh, at least we had an idea of some of the challenges that we were going to face. We already came prepared. The guys had already brought out a couple hundred feet perforated drain tile that's in a side so we'll be able to use that as our under drain system. Now it's just figuring out where to discharge the groundwater that will be present underneath the liner. So that's where we're at, making great progress. I'm super happy about it. We've only been here, been on site for about three hours. We have a good plan moving forward on the intake bay. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Make sure if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Click the little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the TA content that we're putting out three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Also give us a like or if you got any questions leave us a comment in the section below and uh, we, will be, we will do our best to get back to you and maybe fill you in or try and educate you a little bit better if you had some questions while watching the video. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up and get back to work.